This is Mary Ann Rowe. Welcome to S'more Stories, Tales of Transformation Inspired by Being Outdoors. I have just finished the most amazing, energizing, and delightful conversation with Stephen Martin, um, our storyteller for today. And one of the things that struck me, Steve, in our conversation was how much curiosity and energy that you had from the very, very, from when you were a little boy all the way through to like now to our conversation. And, and I wonder, has that been a smooth journey for, for you? Has that level of energy and light and curiosity been there all the way through? Or has there, have there been times of pushback or times that you were, that's, that light and energy was contained in some way? Yeah, thank you for the question, Marianne. Uh, yeah, it hasn't been a smooth uh, ride the whole way. There's been, you know, lots of bumps and twists and turns and uh, lots of times, you know, I wish I knew where I was going, uh, but never quite saw around the next corner. And I think one of the biggest obstacles for me in keeping this passion and curiosity and openness to the universe alive was my education. You know, I had, you know, I had a very good education and, but particularly graduate school because, you know, I was in graduate school and uh, physics and astronomy and astrophysics, and it's very rigorous. It's very concept oriented. It's very mastery oriented. You know, uh, no one really cares whether you're curious about the universe. It's whether you can do these integrals in a particular way and, you know, perform. And there's lots of different uh, hoops to jump through and lots of, I think, uh, very heavily structured educational um, content that you need to master. And I learned a tremendous amount in that time. I don't you know, regret it at all. But I noticed at the end of my graduate career, my passion and interest in the universe was really waning. I felt a little lost. I felt a little bit uh, depressed. I felt you know, that somehow uh, the universe had let me down in some way. And it took me you know, a good amount of time, you know, a good couple of years of feeling very lost and not really connected to my passion. Uh, so much. It was, it was always there. I, rec I recognize it never completely went away. But yeah, I didn't know really, you know, where it was leading to, you know, mm -hmm. because it led me in a different direction. I thought I was going to become more and more alive and excited and that wasn't happening. Wow. And so I had to sort of stay with that sense of kind of like the dark night of the soul mm -hmm. uh, and just sort of stay with it and kind of ride it out in a certain way. Mm -hmm. uh, and recognizing that it had a larger trajectory that I was being directed towards, but it was in a very different direction than I had expected. Wow. Yeah. Yes, that that period of time was not what you had anticipated to be, that you would be experiencing at that period of time. That, um, very much so, you know, and for me, part of it is that one of my roles in this life is as a teacher. And mm -hmm. so I wasn't teaching, I wasn't sharing, mm -hmm. uh, you know, my knowledge and my excitement and my curiosity and openness about the universe with others. Yeah. You know, I was in more of a research, uh, a research role, uh, but I wasn't sharing myself in, in that same way. And then yeah. once I got back in the classroom, I came alive in a whole new way. And I recognized like, this is what I'm supposed to be doing is, you know, creating the space of openness for other people to step into together. Ah, yeah. So, yeah. Well, and Thank goodness that you you hung in through that that dark time because your teaching, your writing, your your love of the the of the universe is is so it's good medicine, Steve, and it's really good medicine for what we need now. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So please tune in and hear Steve's story and see. <laughs> His excitement, experience, his excitement, his energy, his light about universe and us as part of universe. Thank you. <laughs>